What's up, Jaguars? I'm Oscar, and today is Tuesday, May 26th, and welcome to the Jefferson Good Morning News. We begin this final broadcast, as we always have, with the news that matters to you. Here are your top three news stories for the week. First, Spirit Wear arrives tomorrow. Be sure to pick up your orders from the student store. Next, second, the textbook return for remote students will be next Wednesday. And finally, a yearbook sale will take place next Friday if you haven't already ordered one. Pre-ordered yearbooks will be delivered to you the same day. And finally, our very special tribute to every member of our KJTV family, including you, our viewers, who have tuned in at school and at home faithfully each day throughout the normal years and each week in this particularly wild one. From Olympia, Washington, the Jefferson Morning News. Ahoy, Jags. I'm Steve. And I'm Steve. Stay fresh, Jaguars. And now, Jags, it is time for a Manners Matter moment. What are you doing? I'm trying to find my stuff. You gotta respect my stuff, too. And now it's time for your joke of the day. Here's one of your jokes now. Now, for our featured segment. Check it out. Hey, Jags, welcome to Balderdash. So, the top one is Tyler Lockett. Yep. Turning to robotics news, the JMS Enterprise did very well at State this weekend. Welcome to KJAG TV's Time Twist. I'm Amy Suarez. Today we take a closer look at how music shaped what it meant to be a teenager in the 1950s and how as a result, teenagers ultimately changed the world. In 1964, the Emmy-winning ABC TV show Bewitched hit the airwaves. It was a program about a marriage between a mortal man and a beautiful witch. Hi, I'm Mr. Chu. And this is how we teachers prepare for the hockey game. My healthy diet of cheeseburgers allows me peak physical strength. It also takes a really dedicated workout routine. You gotta be pumping iron every single day. Exercise. <laughs> Extraterrestrial abdu ab what? Ab abduction day? Abduction day. <laughs> I'm boring. not dead! They're holding me hostage! A while ago, Charlie really wanted to do a segment called KJ Confessions. So, we never got around to doing that, but one day, Mr. Moore, a few other KJ members, and Charlie, of course, were sitting around Mr. Moore's computer and they were watching a clip of The Office. Um, at that moment, Charlie realized that he wanted to make the TV show that we made, The Studio, which is full of real events that actually happened. Fine.
why would someone... I didn't realize putting on a hat could cause such trouble. Hey Charlie, how's Kung Fu lessons going? Just fine. You know, I've been learning some new ones. You want to see them? Fine. Foolish oh. <laughs> greetings. I'm Zion. And I'm Ruth. Today on Eerie October, we asked some staff members about their favorite terrifying treats. Dark chocolate with almonds. Today on the Jefferson Morning News, we have another episode of K-Jack Family. But the camera was dead. Dead? How lovely. Do you know who used the camera last? You mean it was Cousin Bob? It's so annoying. So be sure to leave those at home with your fanny packs. Now it's time for our trivia segment, KJAG Pop Quiz. And that you're just looking good all day. What are you going to be for Halloween? Good morning, Deborah's staff. Mr. Rain and Ms. Hayes, if you could meet us in the conference room for a meeting, that would be great. Thank you. Yo, teachers! Leave your kids alone! Now for today's special feature, Pet of the Day. Today we feature Ms. Ziski's furry friends. Today we were sitting down with Vera Evans talking about uh, the most recent district ball battle. And we have some questions for you. And now for club news. The West Side Video Workshop starts again Thursday. Our In house. the middle of our house! In the middle of our house, our house. In the middle of our house, our house. Stalker. Charlie did it. Aha! Uh -huh. So we have a confession. No, I mean the other Charlie. Self-incrimination is nine tenths of the law. He's right. I'm a lawyer. I would know. It matters so much. If the power's out, there's nothing Lucas can do. Well, you know, Mr. Morris. Wait, how are these cameras even looking? Oh my god. So it's this magical thing called batteries. Uh, what's that? And to celebrate our big day, here's a look back at one of the most popular segments from our first year. I'm in this one. Love Lala. Check it out. Good morning and welcome to another segment of Love Lala, advice from Love Lauren. Joining us is Lala, the foremost expert in middle school relationship advice. Today we have a letter from who writes about a problem she is having. Lala, what's your advice? You need to read the letter. <laughs> <laughs> That's my advice. Stay frosty, oh, Jefferson. Yikes. Ooh, he's mixing it up. Not having a hall pass will give you a free pass to the office. Nobody wants a free pass to the office. Nobody. No. We enjoy the winter wonderland, but spring. Is coming. Spring is coming! Is coming. <laughs> spring! Spring is coming, guys. I must find some way to stop math from coming. We've come up with a new slogan for KJ. It's a happy place to walk. You know what, Sawyer? You're gonna go down! No! I'm going up! And we want you to be healthy, so here are some tips to avoid getting sick. First, wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Well, that's all for today's broadcast, guys. Remember the three S's. Stay home, stay safe, and stay healthy. We hope your week is jacktastic. Today on the Jefferson Good Morning News, we begin with some good news from around the community. What's up, Jaguars? It's Jimmy, and today is National Pastry Day. Uh, I'm gonna keep your update short and simple. We just want to give a little shout out to our new ASB officers. Thanks, Sawyer. Now it's time for today's student spotlight. Our top story is that the Western Washington FLL State Championship is this Sunday, February 11th. Fourth, 
great job on the track meet yesterday. Congratulations to everyone. We, we will see you tomorrow. Have a great... <laughs> no hats in the building! <laughs> <laughs> and now, for the very last time. Well, that's all for today. I'm done. Be safe, be respectful, and be prepared. We, we hope your day is jack-tastic! Jack